Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Skag and Bones, I'm your host. Got a couple quick videos for you today. I'm going to be filming. I'm going to split it up in a couple different videos. So, first off, as we uh, rotate down over here, take a look. There it is, folks. There is our Diamondback mountain bike. And as you can see, I'm going to get the camera off the tripod here. So we can take a quick look. As you can see, we have taken it for a ride. Now, I've done a little bit of cleanup on it. Here in Guam, a lot of dry red clay. Really messy. I don't like that stuff to get in anything. And really make a mess of everything. So, I did do some cleanup. Wiped everything down. Overall, really good. Really happy with the performance, uh, how everything working. Cranks working really, really good. You can see the, some of the dirt on the, the wheels there. Some pretty hefty trails, some downhill stuff. A lot of different things. So I just kind of wanted to see how the bike responded. Obviously, we could have better shocks on there. Those are just some 100 mil. Uh, Suntour XCTs. Some Fox shocks or something would probably do us better. We could probably get some 160 mil. They're really um, kind of turn this into a hardtail down mach downhill machine. But I just kind of wanted to test her a little bit to see how she did. Some faster speeds and she performed pretty good. So the only little problem we got is in the brakes. So. I'm getting a little bit of rubbing on those brake pads. So what I'm going to have to do is, we talked about in one of the previous videos, setting up the brakes for this guy. And what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to push them over just a little bit, readjust them. I'm not going to do a video on it, uh, but we're going to have to reset the brakes up. Okay, so I'm going to have to push them over a little bit. In one of the previous videos, I showed you that the bolt holes, they allow for some adjustment, and I pulled them over as far as they'd go. Uh, the, uh, the, inner, the inner brake pad that uh, just gets turned in is out all the way, and that's where it's rubbing against. Not a lot of rubbing, just a tiny, tiny bit of rubbing. Of course, I have them set up pretty close in there. Those brake pads are they're very, there's not a lot of tolerance in there for air. So getting a little bit of rubbing. We might have a little bit of warping in these rotors. Not a big deal though. Uh, we can do one of two things to fix that. We can come, kind of file the brake pad down a little bit, but I don't really like to do that. Or we can, uh, we can adjust the the caliper a little bit okay and do some adjustment there so I'm gonna get it adjusted a little bit uh, and then I'll have another ride a couple little things that you'll see obviously put a saddlebag on it being the fact that this is not a full suspension bike it's a hardtail bike running with a saddlebag is not a problem uh, and I'll talk about that and then of course I'll talk about a couple things I've done with it uh, as far as as you can see there we got one bottle and a pump of course most of the time I run with the camelback here okay but I just keep water in the camelback I don't do juice or anything like that so having having a bottle with something a little extra in there it kinda makes it nice so I got that on there now, I had some clearance issues, and I'll do a separate video on adding the stuff, and I'll show you the clearance issues that I had with the bike pump and how I fixed that. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be in the next video, and got a couple other things for you. But overall, real happy with the performance. The shifting is phenomenal. Just have to do some tweaking on the brakes, and, and once I do that, I'll, I'll give you guys another video update on it. Other than that, folks, that's it for me. Uh, I know it's a little short. 
uh, video compared to most. Uh, but just kind of wanted to give you this uh, update on the on the mountain bike and how it's been going. And so it was about a uh, six mile. Uh, excuse me. No, it was a ten mile ride. I got five of it recorded on Strava. I didn't get the rest. I accidentally paused halfway through it. I did one ride at, at one park here in Guam, and then I went to another area that was more of a downhill area and bringing that kind of a little bit more aggressive and. It did phenomenal. It, it really performed well. It's It's got a lot of potential, a lot of maneuverability. I just, what I did up on that course, I took off the, the, the bag, saddle bag, slammed the post all the way down, and I just pretty much stood up the whole course for that one. Did a couple runs off that for about five miles. So overall, I'm real happy with it. I'm real happy how it's performing so far. And we'll see you in the next video. By the way, make sure you guys hit the like button. And make sure you subscribe, as always, keep riding.